The most important thing that I'm going to take back from this event is the fact that openness is beneficial to everybody, be you a private citizen, the government, or the head of an organization. Openness helps you to do things better. Well, I think the, the most important in this event is that we work together, the civil society organizations and the government, pro transparency. And I think that it is uh, very well for the work and it's a very important initiative. Um, what really stuck out is that even though there, there were people from, from India, from Chile, from Guatemala, and, and all of them, although to different degrees, they were somehow um, confronted with, with similar problems. But the way that they were, that they were actually um, tackling those issues was, was different for every country. And that's, what, that's what's so inspiring to see. And, and you, can, you can take little bits and pieces and kind of pull it into, for example, for me, it would be for Chile. So we're, we're, um, we're, we have a lot of good ideas from other countries. So it's, it's really great to be in this international environment. The, there was a discussion and uh, the discussion of the, on the experience of Brazil. So they have really very nice platform where the citizens are participating in lawmaking process. So and I think that we'll take this into account. Well, this idea of uh, it's not about just the data or the uh, I mean we've been focusing on data for a while, but the idea of sort of like pulling out and seeing the open government as a, as a much more complex infrastructure that you need to work through as a set of relationships between people and institutions, as a series of ethics and methodologies of working with people and, you know, through governments. And uh, um, it's really interesting. Like, there's so many different levels to the notion. And I think it's, it, it's obviously under construction, which is the greatest part. And by being under construction, I mean that we can participate in that construction. And that's the power of, of this kind of uh, concept. Yeah. But I think for me, the big thing that I'm taking away from this is just how much the word open seems to capture a lot of people's imagination. Um, several months ago, I wrote a blog post about kind of the geopolitics of the Open Government Partnership and how I, you know, I really think that there's a, a coming division between open and closed as kind of one of the things that's going to separate uh, societies in our world. And, and other people talk about this as well. And, you know, Clinton had it in her opening remarks. And I think, you know, when you're here, you begin to see what the kind of the early formations of what, an, what the alliance of open might look like. Um, and the fact that even people who live in societies that are closed and even governments that are part of societies that are closed want to be part of this and want to at least be seen to be part of this speaks a lot to the power of the word open and how it captures people's imagination. So this conference has really reaffirmed that for me um, and it's kind of something I want to explore further as I, as I see where this is all going.